if you're kind of weird and want to scare, terrify yourself for fun, you may have found the place just for you. Strangest Things Haunted Farm has returned to Eugene just in time for the spooky holiday season. Kaylin Howard is the owner and operator of the Haunted Farm, and this is the fifth year he and dozens of others have put this together. We do want to let you know ahead of time there are flashing lights at this experience if you're sensitive to that. So we decided to send our morning reporter and, and resident scaredy cat, Aaron Ariano, to check it out. Now he joins us live. Tell us what this place has in store for visitors. Aaron, how Joey, do you, uh, how you uh, you know, well, first I want to say all the fog you guys... Uh, all, all the fog you guys see in Eugene is probably coming from the fog machines here at the Strangest Things Haunted Maze. And uh, just so the viewers know, a couple weeks ago, Katie's yeah, we had a scary movie night, and I really was exposed as a scaredy cat. I can't even watch Insidious with the lights off. But as you can see here, we're in the room that I least wanted to be in, the Exorcist-themed room, and it is terrifying. I got to tell you, the more you look at it, it gets a little bit better, but off your peripherals, these faces and these eyes are so realistic staring at you. It's horrifying here. There's a very violent robotic attraction back there just jumping around, keeping me on edge. As you can see here, we have this uh, young woman who... We might need to call the paramedics for her. She needs some help here. But, um, you know, we have the CEO and owner of Strangest Things, Haunted Farms, Kaylin Howard here. Kaylin, let me ask you just off the bat, what is wrong with you and why do you do this? <laughs> I love scaring people, man. My dad is still a when I was a kid. We always had the greatest thing to do at Halloween. Everybody would come to our house because we'd scare the crap out of them. It's kind of our thing. We love to scare people. And it's fun. You know, it's scaring people's fun. Everybody needs to get that adrenaline rush during Halloween. I mean, it's what it's for, you know? And I love the holidays, you know. I, I, Halloween is my favorite time of the year. I love dressing up. It's awesome, you know. It gives the kids something to do. It gives the people here something to do as a community thing, you know. Everybody likes to come out. It's just excitement, you know. And, and Kaylin, uh, this is your fifth year with doing this amazing. You're fine. Tell me about what it was like then and what is here now and what you're even adding this year. So first year we started off that it was just experimenting, kind of learning how to do it. The second year we took off and we made it bigger and better and every year I add on. This year alone we've added in a hereditary maze, one of my favorite horror movies. We've also added in a little paranormal activity scene. Uh, we have uh, Alien vs Predator week coming up this week. I just uh, got a predator that's nine feet tall. Uh, that's coming in. It's a movie mold from the Predator movie uh, that'll be here. We have actual alien props from the Xenomorph molds, uh, which is really neat. A lot of people don't have that. And it's tough to get those kind of things. And through business and making friendships, I've been able to get a lot of my hands on a lot of those props. So, so uh, you told me earlier that you've had a lot of uh, critics come and check out this place. I'm told that you have a very, very scary crew here, the volunteers you have to run around and scare people. Tell me, you mentioned the bonus that they get. Yeah, so what we do uh, for any anybody that scares somebody enough that makes them pee their pants, have an accident, they get a bonus. They get a reward. <laughs> That's kind of the thing we do. Like, we want to scare you guys. You know, okay. We want to terrify you guys. That's the whole point of this thing, you know? So we'll we'll uh, we'll show you more of the other rooms up next at 5:30 bottom of the hour. But for now, it's going to be $25 for admission here at, at Strangest Things Haunted Maze Thursday through Sunday, all the way leading up to Halloween. So stick around. We'll be right back. Kayla, thank you. Appreciate yep. it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs>